Now to prove the measure of an angle form when a chord intersect a tangent line at the point of tangency is half the measure of the arc intercepted by the chord and the tangent line. Here is the chord, here's the tangent line, and of course here's the, the circle. And what they're saying is that this angle here of ABC is going to be equal to one half of the, the measure of this arc here. So what do we do to prove that? We repeat the, the given. We have both the chord and the tangent line. And we're going to construct the diameter, which obviously goes through the center of the circle, O. And it forms and it intercepts right here at B. And we know that because the, the uh, tangent line, this tangent line, and the radius or diameter it has to be perpendicular. And we know that this whole arc here, okay, of... Uh, of here of D A B this whole arc right here is going to be equal to one half of is going to be this angle right here is going to be one half of that arc okay and likewise we know that the angle here of A B D is equal to one half this arc this 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 angle right here is equal to one half of this arc here because that's in the inscribed angle theorem. We also know that the angle <clears throat> ABC is going to be equal to the large angle of CBD minus this angle here. Okay, and that's just by uh, subtraction. And then now if we substitute in these points here that we have now, we substitute in there, is it one half this arc minus one half this arc is going to equal to, we substitute this out, so therefore it's going to leave the arc of AB, and therefore we have proved the case where the angle ABC is going to equal to one half of this arc.